What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Kingdom Hearts in 2022, the franchise. I think it's got loads of potential to uh, to really stand out and be something that we leave 2022 just you know thinking about. I've said it before, like on Twitter and even just in my own personal life. I'm having almost like withdrawal from this franchise. I mean, Melody of Memory was not long ago at all, but let's be real. Okay, let's be fair to ourselves. It wasn't like a main installment it was like a summary game it included 10 12 minutes of new stuff at the very end which is important for sure but in all the game really didn't make an impact even remind i've had my fair uh i've had my fair share of discussions on remind don't really even want to talk about it and for kingdom hearts 3 if you can believe it which it seems insane has actually been almost three years you know in another month or so three years since that game release so i'm having withdrawal from the franchise i really want it back and uh, lucky for me and lucky for the kingdom hearts fans no i think 2022 is going to be that year um not necessarily in fact i don't think at all when we're going to get a new game but when i do think we're going to get an announcement for a game right uh now there's more to kingdom hearts in 2022 like the the, the mobile games and i'm not necessarily going to talk about those in this video but i do just want to mention them that you know like i know they exist and i know there's things ongoing with them like there's going to be more stuff than just the announcement of a base you know franchise game of kingdom hearts um next year but i kind of just want to talk about that one we're getting very close uh to the anniversary of kingdom hearts one kingdom hearts one released in september in the u.s or in north america but in march for japan so i wonder you know because they work in japan and that's like place so i wonder if if march will actually be because i've kind of like set myself up that september could be you know a big moment for kingdom hearts i almost wonder if march and i believe it was the end of march if march could be a big moment for kingdom hearts i think it makes a load of sense to announce the next kingdom hearts game around the anniversary of you know the first i think it's only a matter of time too by the way that you know we've had the collections of you know every single game under the sun put together and we've had those time and time again but now here we are into next gen we're a full year into it you know by the time they would maybe make an announcement or it would come out it'd be like a year and a half or two years i think we're getting really close basically to all the games coming out yet again for like the 500th time on the you know ps5 series x stuff like that so that is one thing and i do think it's possible that they fill 2022 up with that that we do actually get a base game uh in a way i mean i don't even know if you call it base game but we would get something like a physical product of kingdom hearts uh in 2022 okay but it would just be you know all the games again i do think though at some point this year whether it's the anniversary of one in japan in the u.s e3 uh square enix presents whatever i do think we're gonna get an announcement of the next base kingdom hearts game and i really struggle to say it would be for kingdom hearts 4 but i'm i would not rule it out i mean we've talked about it before three did really well sales wise i feel like the pressure would probably be on to duplicate that i think your best bet to duplicate it would obviously be a numbered installment right but us kingdom hearts fans know right it's all the game the games are all equally as important okay like a dream drop distance or birth by sleep you could argue is just as more if not more important than like a you know kingdom hearts two or three so you need those games as well uh well i don't know if you need them but namora has made it so that we need them and uh, i really think we could get an announcement of one of those this upcoming year like i said i don't i don't think uh it would release this upcoming year and honestly you know it's pretty confusing, at least to me, how the studios that are working on these games work and Nomura's job just in general. Obviously, he has his hands on a bunch of different projects. I'm not going to pretend to know how things work there um, because I would like to say, like, well, is the team like what's the team that worked on three doing and then but like is there any other teams do they have more than one that works on kingdom hearts like how exactly does it work because again i mean like it or hate it it has been three years since kingdom hearts 3 and then remind uh, obviously a, a bit later and melody of memory obviously even later still but you know what are these individual you know people that are working on these games what have they been making i really think 2023 could be the year that we get like the next big kingdom hearts game i don't think that's all that far-fetched it may be hard to imagine for us that have waited or did wait as long as we did for kingdom hearts 3 but again 
in between two and three, we got a lot of other games. It wasn't just, it wasn't literally just a, an area of darkness and misery in between those two. We got a lot of other stuff. So really, it's been enough time for sure. It, I, maybe it wouldn't even surprise me. I mean, if they, well, I think it would. If they announced it next year, it wouldn't surprise me. If they announce it and then say it releases at the end of you know next year 2022 i would be kind of shocked in a in the best way possible i mean i'd be very very happy for that but you know again it's it's weird i mean i love kingdom hearts to death that's one of my favorite franchises in in a lot of different ways uh, and i am kind of having like i miss it i miss the convolutedness i miss the combat i miss the the presentation the visuals of those games are so beautiful i just miss it so much and it it hasn't even been all that long but it feels like it's been longer and uh, and maybe it's also because like i know you know what i mean like we're there i think next year is definitely going to be the year 2022 will definitely be the year that we at least see the next game we can start theorizing about it we can start talking about it and it may even be the year that we actually get to play it maybe but again i would i would bet on 2023 but if it happens in 2022 you know i'm, I'm not going to say no to that you know what i mean so let me know what you guys think in the comments below what do you think gets announced you think it's a uh, birth by sleep 2 or dream drop Dead, or maybe it's kingdom hearts 4 so let me know what game you think it'll be if it releases next year or not in the comments make sure you're all subscribed bell icon turned on as soon as there's stuff kingdom hearts you know i'll be covering it quite a bit on the channel if you want to follow me anywhere else i have a twitter i have a second channel i also have patreon and youtube memberships if you guys want to support us there links are in the description below for all of them thank you for watching guys and i hope to see you all on the next video